Good afternoon, everyone. Kyrgyzstan looks like electric geology. Does it matter if it's auroral ropes twisting on themselves into field aligned currents, evolving into planetary discharge lightning or airburst? Comet events. Sul Aymen to Sacred Mountain. Petroglyphs that were seen during the event. Lee side now is a museum. Interesting how Parat columns turning into smiley faces are what Kyrgyzstan has on the stamps as a petroglyph from the ancient site. Thunderbolts Project, Andy Hall, electric geology shockwave. One of those two causes shock reflections turning into the dragon scales. Brownie and tree scarred on the plateau. Shockwave envelope powderizing the Earth's surface. Airburst features and shockwaves visible through the airs in our test. What would it look like after the event? Dielectric properties, hypersonic winds on the sand dune. Layer deposition, thermal stratification. This location is still a place of wonder. It's a sacred mountain. Look how prevalent the petroglyphs are on the walls. We can replicate that in the lab. Kyrgyzstan, the same exact shapes repeated, but just an increase in voltage flow. How many times do we see these again and again matching across the planet? This representation in Kyrgyzstan goes through the different charge states from high to low. What did they experience? And give thanks that there are people out there looking at the mechanisms, trying to trace the patterns and cycles once again. President Biden's economic decisions are gripping our nation and everyday Americans are watching as their purchasing power continues to fall further. And the uncertainty of what's ahead in 2022. This administration has moved forward with $6.6 trillion of spending. And next on the agenda is the greatest tax hike in generations. Economists are comparing our current inflationary environment to 1970s inflation. And if you look back, gold was up 20x and silver 37x from 1970 to 1980. Learn how simple it is to add physical gold and silver to your portfolio ahead of the rise in inflation and predicted price rises. Patriot Gold Group has the no fee for life IRA where your IRA or 401k can be in physical gold and silver. Call 1-800-356-4470 and get a free investor guide today. And with the knowledge that Patriot Gold Group is Consumer Affairs' top-rated gold IRA dealer from 2016 to present, click on the link in the description box below for more information. And now on with the video. And what led me to this video and talking about cycles of time, Kyrgyzstan, new issuance of their postage stamp, Kyrgyz Express. Looks like a plasma glyph to me. And if you do look at Kyrgyzstan, the entire landscape seems to be of sculpting by wind, but supersonic wind or electric forces. It's a cool littered with mountain ranges looking like arrows pointing into themselves and closer to Sula Ayman, sacred mountain Richtmeyer Meshknov instability patterns must have been supersonic wind once again. But what would cause the change? A change in frequency, a change in voltage, a change in the cycle. Over time, the last 12,000 years, increasing Earth's temperatures, higher voltage, decreasing Earth's temperatures, lower voltage. We're heading into a grand solar minimum right now. Would explain a lot of the changes that we're seeing on the planet. Moving into access to control of food distribution and food purchases. Look for it, 2022. It's all about the sun stepping down at a 400-year cycle. And as it does, more energy from the sun reaches the earth. Intense aurora, I must admit. Now turning into plasma ropes. 
glowing the deepest reds and now intertwining field aligned currents. What happens when that turns into interplanetary lightning or crustal plate to crustal plate anomaly just on the Earth's surface? Impact bolide air shock, but it doesn't really matter whether it's plasma or meteor impact. People ran for cover. You think that would be the safest place on the top of this sacred mountain, Sulaiman, but it was fried, melted from the plasma, sculpting that cave in perfection. But somebody did survive, and they left all of these petroglyphs for us to try to understand, decipher in a plasma laboratory right now, 2021. Could we replicate something by putting more voltage of current through a plasma field and coming out with some of the same shapes? Because as you look across the world, you see the same exact iconography on all the canyon walls. All cultures all have the same similar shapes 12,000 years ago. The smiley face right here is now a new issuance in Kyrgyzstan for the post. So it's great that it's in the forefront here that a petroglyph, a plasma glyph, is on and in the mail circuit. This stems from a couple of petroglyph sites across Kyrgyzstan, which I'm going to talk about in part two. Each area has their own set of petroglyphs that match up with different electrical discharge or bolide impact shock. Now, these petroglyphs are from Sulaiman, Sacred Mountain. The difference in what you're seeing from the Star in a Jar Sapphire Project is input of current. Turn up the voltage, things spin faster. Our ancients saw all of this before we even had the machinery to create plasma laboratories to replicate the same images, atmospheric events, or displays in the skies that they had seen. 12,000 years ago, now it's taking us all the way to 2021 to get back to where we can get, oh, that, oh it matches up what they already saw. So who's uh, more advanced? Moving over to Squatter Man, seen across the planet, every culture, look it up yourself, Squatter Man, and you'll find the same exact representation of a standing human, two arms, two legs, sometimes dots next to them. Voltage, you're looking at the exact same thing with just different current inflow into it. Question, which one's spinning faster? Which one's more highly charged? Because when you look at charge state, you're looking at the pattern right in front of you. As it dips down lower, that is a lower state of activity. When it goes higher on the chart, it's higher electrical activity. Now these just happen to match up with colder times, lower activity. Warmer times, higher electrical activity coming from our star. So a glimpse into Sulaiman II Sacred Mountain I put the black arrow there. That is the direction of discharge during this event that created a sacred mountain. People ran there for safety. That is the shock envelope swept across the land. It turned everything into dust comprised of the minerals within the dust. And that layer blew across the mountain, leaving what you see there on the hillside. That shock reflection is 90 degrees from the path of the blast. Wherever it's moving, go right or left, and that's where you'll start to see a lot of dendritic ridges. On the other side, you saw that huge dust layer covering the same exact mountain. Traditional geology tells us the entire mountain should be covered that deep because if it was leaves that fell there after millions of years making soil and stuff blue, whatever, the excuse, time frames, millions, whatever, it should be the exact same around that mountain, but it's not. That wind came from the other direction, blowing all that material. There is a cave there, a massive cave. That's covered by a museum. But what I find so signal-giving here, the importance of those petroglyphs right there at the cave entrance. It's a museum now. So what's the first thing you see? The petroglyphs are trying to show something magnificent happened here. Learn from it. Know the changes. Know the cycles. Look for the indicators. So here's the cave that many people took refuge in during this time. So think about that. 
all that wind, all that dust, rocks, everything piling up on the other side of the mountain, but you're watching it blow past you above your head. You think that would be a sacred sight after the event finished and you lived through that? Now, this is the size of the cave entrance now, but it was a bit smaller before they did a bunch of renovations, turned this into a museum, put up the, the glass walling there. But as you enter, look how far down this thing goes. This was a refuge center. Maybe it was just a lucky one that it was just in the right place at the right time and everybody could get there. And in this map from 1889, the blast pattern would have been following the line on the bottom straight and that wind would have been, well, you can see exactly where it's going. The artist did a very good job of showing you how it's stacking up with the winds, just like sand dunes, which direction is the wind going all toward that center, which was the covered now with very fine dust of the same size in the sacred mountain of where the cave is. And off to the right, you can see there were some airburst features would it be to the east. What's it look like? The feathers. So the inhabitants of our earth 12,000 years ago ran to these caverns. And that's the reason you're here today. And you might want to check out the younger Dryas and how quickly the temperature dropped and how quickly it rose back up and why there were so few people left. So if people did witness this and the petroglyphs are of electrical discharge in our atmosphere, plasma, lightning holding state for two minutes in the atmosphere, dancing across the skies... That's what you're seeing on the canyon walls. But would there be physical evidence with what was left in terms of the petroglyphs and now what we can replicate in the plasma laboratory? I thank you for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Stay tuned for part two and then part three as I delve deeper into the Kyrgyzstan landscape, petroglyphs, myth, legend, and water issues driving geopolitics in that same country. I'll see you next time.